Hi, this presentation is about the GTAP 10 database. GTAP provides a snapshot of the world economy for a given reference year. In GTAP 10, the we consider four reference years. There's two places where you can find more about the GTAP 10 database. One is the Journal of Global Economic Analysis paper. Another one is at the GTAP website. So in essence, the GTAP database combines input-output tables with international data sets or macroeconomic aggregates such as GDP and GDP expenditures with balanced bilateral trade of products and services with energy data and protection data such as import tariffs. For each country region in the GTAP database, we will have intermediate and final uses of domestic and imported goods, as well as sectoral use of factor endowments such as land, capital, natural resources, and five labor categories. Some of the key features of GTAP 10 are the increased representation of countries and the increased number of sectors that the GTAP database represents. In terms of countries, uh, we've added one new country to our geographic coverage and updated 50 countries uh, for a total of 121 countries plus 20 aggregate regions to encompass the whole world. And in terms of sectors, we increased from 57 to 65 products and services. Uh, furthermore, with an in updated concordances so that we have updated the definition of these sectors using the latest CPC and ISIC classifications. Uh, the, the links provided here will give you more information about these in updates. Another methodological update is that in we're now using improved international margins as explained by the paper of Nuno Ledesma and Nelson Viloria in the Journal of Global Economic Analysis. The GTAP database is used with general equilibrium type of models to perform quantitative analysis of international economic issues. It is of course used with the GTAP model, but it also the GTAP database also underlies most if not all of the global economic computable general equilibrium models. We also use the GTAP database to as the basis for a satellite and GTAP database extensions that I'll talk soon. The GTAP database is rarely used in disaggregated form. Therefore, there's two types of distribution that help you aggregate the world economy to really focus on the problem at hand that, are, that a researcher that may have. One such distribution is the global the GTAP AG. It's a graphical user interface uh, that works with Windows and a command line option called Flex AG. You should know that there's free versions available on our website. In our archives, you will find GTAP 8 data and older. Uh, and also, if you wanted to get access to a more recent version, you could choose to contribute an input-output table and follow the guidelines that specify here. Some of the satellite accounts and GTAP extensions are listed here. We have a standard with the GTAP database release, a, a file that accounts for CO2 emissions and energy volumes data. When we combine them, we can use this with the GTAP e-model. We also have bilateral time series trade data, non-CO2 emissions, air pollution, information. We extend the GTAP database to account for international migration flows and remittances to be used with the GMIC2 model. We also have an extension of the GTAP database that considers foreign income payments and receipts, and that can be used with the GDIN model. One of the extensions of GTAP expands the, the information in the single sector of electricity to provide a better representation of this activity. Also, we have a land use and cover extension to be used with the GTAP AZ model. These are just a few. There are others that are available in the GTAP website. Here are the links to the GTAP database and data utilities. Come here for current details of what it is available. Every 
release and update will be posted here. Thank you for watching uh, this short video. If you have any questions, please send them to the GTAP L mailing list or GTAP support.